What's up everyone and thanks for tuning in to my channel again. Today I'm using the HTC Vive Focus to check out Masterworks and explore some heritage sites from around the world. Before we dig into the app itself, I just want to point out this is the first time I've actually screencast from the Vive Focus using a new method that was shown to me by Tony Vitillo, uh, also known as Scarred Ghost. Uh, he's a prolific uh, VR app developer and uh, pioneer in the field, especially when it comes to the Vive Focus. Tony posted a video recently showing how to do this uh, and an article on his blog, and I'll put a link to these in the comments below. Now, unfortunately, I only realized when I started editing that the sound hasn't recorded. I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to dig into this. But I already had uh, both the footage from the focus recorded and the footage of myself using the experience. So I, I figured I'd just go ahead and um, record some over-the-top narration to explain what's going on. Uh, and the main thing that you need to realize is that whenever you're seeing the text on the screen, what you're not hearing are the recordings of the audio. There is embedded audio within the experience which you can trigger from different hotspots. These are recordings from actual archeologists and scientists, uh, people involved with the preservation of these historical sites. Uh, it's really good to have this authentic voice, uh, these different authentic voices uh, within the experience. And unfortunately you can't hear them here, but at least you can read the text on the screen. And it, that itself is a nice touch, the fact that they've included the on-screen text as well as the audio version. So let's dig into the app itself. This is Masterworks and it's available on the Rift, the Vive, the Go, and also as you can see on the Vive Focus. I've already tried this app on my Vive, so I figured it'd be good to try it on the, on the Focus as well. It's an app that allows you to travel to three different continents and visit some of the world's most amazing places, historic heritage sites that span over 3,000 years of history. So the four sites in question are Mount Rushmore, which you can see here, there's uh, the ancient capital of Thailand, a pre-Incan temple in the Andes, and a Native American uh, cliff dwelling uh, in Colorado. So what you're looking at here is not just 360 imagery, um, although there are 360 images incorporated within the experience. I'll come on to those in a second. Uh, what you're looking at is photogrammetry, so that you've got full 3D scans of these places. The app was developed by a company called Farbridge and published by SciArc, which is a non-profit organization um, which was founded uh, about 15 years ago uh, with, a, with a mission of digitally recording and archiving some of the world's uh, most important cultural uh, heritage sites. Um, they, they, I mean, they've scanned over 200 monuments and locations worldwide across all of the seven continents. Um, and they say that their, their mission as an organization has been to ignite wonder, curiosity, and a shared understanding of our past. And VR really is just a perfect medium for this, isn't it? Because we're actually creating these living memories, these living sites that we can move around in inside room scale VR, where people who perhaps have never had the opportunity to visit these places and perhaps never will, uh, or generations to come will be able to to look at these places, to travel to these places, to to step through time and to ex explore and learn about the, the history of the world. So there are these four key locations which are linked by a museum space which you can jump in and out of uh, to then navigate to the, the four historical sites. Uh, once you move to the site, as you can see in, in the footage, you can use a teleportation system to move around, but you do have some room scale freedom as well. Obviously, where there is uh, the underlying use of the photogrammetry, what you're looking at is uh, a room scale where you can move, but at some points it will it will jump to the next kind of chunk of the of the 3D recording. There, there, there are some little tears when you move from space to space, but, but overall it, it's a remarkably impressive um, example of what photogrammetry can, can achieve. Um, whilst you're moving around, you have some objectives. There are some artifacts for you to look for, and there are also some sound recordings. Now, I mentioned the sound recordings at the start. Unfortunately, you can't hear the sound, but you can see where I've triggered them. You click on the icons, and the recordings of different archaeologists, different uh, historians are, are played back. So the artifacts are hidden around different locations uh, within each of the different historical sites. When you find them, you can click on them to interact and what you will launch is actually a 360 image uh, which is related to the specific artifact this artifact will then go into your inventory and it will actually also appear within a, a small staging area inside the museum space um, and your aim is to actually locate and collect all of the artifacts because as you're piecing together the story of each location it is the the audio clips and the artifacts that really bind everything together to help you develop a deeper understanding of the, the historical site that you're in. 
Cyarc have actually put out an excellent behind the scenes video from this experience which is available on their YouTube channel. Again, I'll put the link to that down in the comments below. I uh, really recommend watching that because it's amazing to see how they actually put this stuff together. Um, there is footage in, in this video from them on site at Mount Rushmore, for example, and it's, it's just mind-blowing to see the effort that this organization goes to to preserve these, these um, historical sites. The experience itself is actually free to download. You can get it from Viveport. You can get it from the, the Vive Wave store, which is where I got it for the, for the Focus. You can get it from the Oculus store. It's a free download, but if you go to the the Masterworks website, there are options there where you can donate to, to SciArc to support their work. You can donate to UNESCO to help preserve historical sites around the world. So I really recommend that not only do you check out the app, but if you enjoy it, jump on over to, to the Masterworks site and, and kick a donation into SciArc, kick a donation into UNESCO so that we can see more projects like this and, and potentially see Masterworks develop with even more locations added to it which is something that the uh, the creators have alluded to the potential of expanding it into an even larger platform it's definitely something that i recommend for use in the classroom it's definitely something that i think has got a really valid place within the the history classroom it's also got a, a great a place within the geography and even the social studies classrooms um so get out there grab it take a look it's um a free download as i say and it's definitely something that won't disappoint all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for listening. Thanks for tuning in. And please do hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the new fresh VR and AR content I'm putting out for education and training. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And please hit me up with some comments and let me know what you think.